Storm Connections has been called Storm 4 DLC way too many times, but I think people's minds are finally starting to change now that we know more about what's new in this game. And today I've got over 50 changes that this game is making and that's not counting any character specific stuff. This is all universal no matter who you play. Now admittedly some of these changes are bigger than others and full disclosure I'll be using a mod to show you some of these. So some of this footage is actually a Storm 4 mod, but we have confirmed that all of these changes exist by playing the real game at Summer Games Fest and all the gameplay that Shonen Games and Falco have captured at Anime Expo as well as IGN, links to their channels down below. So without further ado, let's start counting. This game will feature a new story mode, not only covering Naruto from the start until the end of Shippuden, but also a new original story with Boruto at the center of it. Connections will have the biggest roster ever in Storm. They have all the old characters, they're adding new ones as well, so you do the math. There are also new combination ultimates. Characters now have three colors to choose from when you select them on the character select screen, and that's for every skin. Previously you had one alternate color if two players picked the same character, but now you can actually pick those colors and they added a third one which for a roster of over 130 characters plus the skins that's a lot of colors and there's also the return of item customization from storm revolution we don't know how close to this it will be or how much it has evolved but you'll be able to equip some items on your characters to make them stand out visually still on the character select screen in storm 4 you could select the ultimate jutsu for your point character but now the menu pops for your second and third characters as well so you can select it for everyone the whole game has been upscaled to 4k resolution and 60 fps they've added a new simple control scheme that is actually customizable. You can turn on or off some of its features, which is actually going to make me want to try this for a while. I'm going to try to get good at it. The more I think about this control scheme, the more sense it makes in my head. And they have a new HUD. Granted, it didn't change much in terms of function, but it looks different. So that counts, I think. But before we get to number 10, this video would not be possible without today's sponsor, True Classic. Premium quality t-shirts without breaking the bank. If you're watching this channel, there's a good chance that you're a dude. And you're a dude with a dude body. Not all t-shirts are built the same, so don't just get anything from any random store, treat yourself with a t-shirt that makes you stand out and feel great. That's the true classic promise. This fabric feels so good. It's so soft. It feels nice that I really hate it whenever I have all my true classic t-shirts in my laundry basket, because that means I have to wear other stuff and the other stuff doesn't feel so awesome. So it feels great, but equally as important is how it looks on my body. And as you can see, it's a t-shirt built for a dude. It accentuates the chest, it accentuates the arms, but not too much, if you know what I mean. So I just feel better, I feel more confident while wearing them, and the simplistic design means that you can wear it while dressing up or in casual everyday life. If you're good on t-shirts, check out some of their other products like polos, long sleeves, bottoms, jackets, but really the star of the show for me here is the t-shirts. You need t-shirts, you probably wear them every day, so why not wear something that feels good and looks good? And it's probably not more expensive than what you already have in your closet right now. I've personally never found anything this good at this price point. Plus, if you shop at True Classic with my my link down below, you'll be helping out the channel too. TrueClassicTees.com slash Globku for a 25% discount of any True Classic item. This promo code is only valid for 30 days though, so do not delay and get your t-shirts now. The link is down below and thank you so much for sponsoring this video. This is also True Classic, by the way. Uh, where were we? Oh, number 10. When a round is over, health resets for both players, like a normal round system that you would see in most fighting games or arena fighters. No more health persisting for the winner. And it's not just health that resets, the support gauge does too. Too. Previously, if an assist was on cooldown, they would stay on cooldown at the start of next round. And now it resets, so you just have it again. Losing a round also seems to cause the armor break effect on your entire team. In Storm 4, armor breaks happen when you deal enough damage to a single character. Their clothes break and the character receives the defense debuff. So it used to be something that would make you think about switching characters, but now your whole team gets an armor break. That said, after analyzing this pixel by pixel, I don't think the defense debuff is there anymore, so it's just a visual change now. The time between rounds is much shorter. Check out the side by side comparison. It's a small quality of life thing, but I absolutely love it. Rounds are probably the biggest change to the combat system, but we're not done with the big stuff, like the new Chakra auto regeneration rate. In Storm 4, Chakra already regenerated, but it was so slow that I don't blame you if you missed it. But now there's no mistaking it. Look at how fast this Chakra regenerates. You won't need to manually charge so often. After you use Chakra, there's a small cooldown before it starts regenerating, so if you use a Jutsu, a Chakra Dash, or something like that, and the cooldown seems different depending on the action you do. But while it's regenerating, it can also pause slightly if you throw a shuriken, or use an item, or even combo an opponent. So no, you can't do an infinite while regenerating chakra, or maybe you can, it's just a little bit at a time. Counter got massively buffed, first by removing the 
chakra cost, it just doesn't cost anything anymore, it's free. And on top of it, it staggers the opponent instead of blowing them away, which means you can start a combo after using counter. But it's not a stun like it used to be in Revolution, so you can just substitute out of it if you have substitutions. Items have also massively changed. The ones that you use on your D-pad. Instead of a limited use, they are now all on a cooldown. How big is that cooldown? Well, that depends on the item. On hit, items now stagger opponents for a lot longer compared to Storm 4, which means they're now a lot easier to extend combos with. So overall, a good buff to items. The one place where items got nerfed is that they don't hit opponents that have been knocked down anymore. And the same goes for Shuriken, by the way. These items on cooldown also include the guard break pill. So obviously, it's also on a cooldown, but more importantly, it now travels further. So it can guard break an enemy from even further away. The break itself now only lasts for one second. In fact, that's how long every single guard break lasts in this new game, whether you use the pill or not. But you'll see a lot more guard breaks because players have less guard health in general. So it's just easier to break guards. Okay, and here comes another big one. Every character now has a second jutsu. For the old characters, that's frequently going to be their tilt move. But for some others, it's something else, like an awakening action. So what happened to the tilt input, you might ask? That's just been completely removed from the game. The second jutsu is done by pressing the chakra button followed by the shuriken button, which means that the chakra shuriken have been fully removed from the game as well. Which might make you wonder, how do cover fire supports work now? Well, they just activate when you use regular shuriken. So that's it. And that's not all they've done to jutsu because you can now spark dash and ninja dash out of a jutsu to apply pressure or extend combos. For those who don't know, spark dash is like a chakra dash, but you see this yellow spark around the character at the start. This happens when you cancel a move into a chakra dash instead of just doing it in neutral. And it's more expensive than a normal chakra dash. This already existed in Storm 4, but the new thing is that you can do it out of a jutsu now, which just gives you so many more combo options. The cost of a spark dash has also been drastically reduced from 18% of your chakra bar to only 10%. This paired up with the chakra regeneration is gonna make the game so much more aggressive. And speaking of options, there are a lot more knockbacks and knockdown animations that can be followed up. With combos, with jutsu, with items or grabs, there's a lot of character specific stuff in here, but in general, everyone is getting more combo options thanks to this. And if the opponent is knocked back in the air, you can restand them by hitting them with anything. So combo options for everyone, both in the air and on the ground. Because of these options, the game needed to add some damage scaling, which is honestly long overdue. So Storm Connections is definitely introducing scaling to the game. You can now hit someone with an infinite if you want, but you will deal less and less damage over time. This scaling also applies to ultimate jutsu damage, which is now the same no matter if you do it in a regular combo with a normal cancel, or if you use a ninja move before throwing the ultimate. Scaling now applies to both options. Also, Storm 1 fans, we have a little returning feature here in Storm Connections. Ultimates will now stop the time count just like in Storm 1. What, you, you wanted wall combat back? But they're clearly aware that combos are dealing much bigger damage now with the amount of options they gave us, so scaling is a very good solution to counter that. At the same time, they also increased the grab damage from 15% to like 20, depending on the character. And paper bombs from your item toolbox also got increased damage, so overall, I think damage will actually be a lot bigger. Supports are also very different in connections. Using leader switch now takes a full gauge instead of just half, and the cooldown is different if you leader switch or use a jutsu. It's much faster if you leader switch. In fact, different assists will have different cooldown times, so that's something they can use to balance the game in the future. Plus, just like characters have two jutsu, you can also choose which jutsu to do with your support when calling them. You get the normal assist by pressing the button, or the second jutsu by pressing it while tilting the stick, just like in Demon Slayer. Also, just to finish on the supports, uh, saving yourself from strike back now costs a full support gauge. But I won't worry too much about it because you're gonna see a lot less strike backs in the game. Why, you ask? Well, the storm gauge has also changed quite a bit. Previously, you'd get support actions like strike back or cover fire when your storm gauge was at 50%. Now, you only get those once the storm gauge is completely full. When the storm gauge fills up, you don't get full chakra anymore. Instead, you get a full support gauge. While you're getting hit, your storm gauge doesn't build up anymore, so in general, you'll build it a lot slower in Storm Connections. And once the bar is full, it only lasts for a total of 12 seconds, which means you're only gonna have Strike Back or those other support types for 12 seconds each round. And that's if you build the full Storm Bar. That is drastically less than what we have in Storm 4 right now. Next up, let's talk about Awakenings. Actually, next up, let's take a break. My voice is... my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Awakenings last for a lot less now, only 15 seconds total. That's down from 22 seconds in Storm 4. When you reach 40% health and unlock the possibility of an awakening, usually you get full chakra. As you can see, Shisui getting here. Later in the same match, the same happens to Obito, chakra back to full. But then when it happens to Obito again, you don't get the full chakra anymore, as it seems that it's now limited to once per match per character, encouraging you to switch more often. Defense, however, is a big concern in the community right now. With the removal of tilt, how do you get out of guard pressure? Well, we have seen the air guard animation being cancelled with a shuriken, so that might be the new way to escape pressure. We still need to see if this works on the ground to fully confirm it though, but at least in the air you can now cancel block by throwing a shuriken. And for number 50 we need a big one here for sure. Substitutions have just gotten massively nerfed. When you're getting hit, your substitutions do not regenerate from taking damage. They'll regenerate after a 15 second period, just like in Storm 4, but as you're taking damage, they are not slowly building back up. This means means that your best punish in this game is going to be a 15 second combo. And that's a pretty long combo. And I guess I just need one more change to not make this thumbnail clickbait. So how about stages? The Anime Expo demo didn't show it, but I saw it with my own eyes at Summer Games Fest. There are two pages full of stages in Naruto Storm Connections, so we're getting more stages than ever before. And I'm not done. Air Ninja Move Kunai is gone. This was a very good neutral tool that you could use to attack while dodging, but now you just kind of stop in place and throw the kunai. You can still do it on the ground though, so you can Ninja Move Kunai you just can't do it in the air. You want more changes? Okay, uh, the uh, guard break pill flash, it changed color. It went from full yellow to slight more reddish. I don't know, there's probably a thousand more little changes. I think we covered the most important stuff, but if anything, I hope this video has shown you just how different Naruto Storm Connections will be. And if that's not enough to convince you to buy this game, I think that's fine. But I also don't think it's fair to call this game Storm 4 DLC anymore. And it's also not fair that you're walking around with some crappy t-shirts. So treat yourself like you deserve. Get some true classic tees and enjoy the discount link down below. And if you want to see some pro players using some of these changes, the mod isn't complete yet, but this is an early build and we hosted a tournament. Here's the grand finals. Here's how fast they adapted to the chakra regeneration and the counter and all that stuff. Go check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.